In today's video, I'll be showing you how to write the best SEO optimized articles using Search GPT and how you can use Search GPT to rank number one on Google. In my previous video, I compared Search GPT and Google, but they're not necessarily competitors. You can use Search GPT to write really, really good content that will also rank on Google. So the first articles in which you can write, which I think is the most obvious, is more live and up-to-date um, articles. So let's say, for example, I was writing an article on, you know, I wanted to write an article on the best AI stocks to invest in in 2024. I can ask Search GPT, right, once I toggle that mode on, to give me information about the best stocks to invest in 2024. Now, let's say I wanted to specifically take a look at AI stocks. I can just simply ask it to do that um, query. And as you can see here, it's going to give me a lot of information. Essentially, it's going out to Google. It's gathering the most important information and putting it all into one place for me. So this is cool, again, because I can do research very, very quickly and it's more up to date. And now I can ask it more questions like, for example, um, which one of these stocks had the biggest increase and biggest decrease. Right, so let's say I want to just gather more information, I can do so. So again, this is gonna search the web, among the AI focused companies listed, Nvidia experienced the most significant increase, Super Micro Computer, a prominent AI server maker and an Nvidia partner has faced the most substantial decline, right? Now I can ask other questions like, what are some of the best emerging AI stocks? And I can get a list of those as well. So as you can see, you can now do your research in ChatGPT and then use that research to write the article. Previously, you would have to do your research in um, Google and then take that information and then prompt it into the AI. So now you can do it all in one place, which makes it convenient, easier, and more efficient for you when you're creating articles, especially up-to-date articles. So now what I can do is, now that I have a lot of information, I can turn off the, the search feature if you like, or you can keep it on. I like to turn it off because I find that the AI is actually, you know, it will listen a little bit better instead of searching the web. And now I can tell it to create an outline for the information above. Then create that outline. As you can see, we get the title, we get the introduction, we get the different sections. And then from there, I can tell it to then write the full article. And that's an easy, easy way for you to really add more up-to-date information, more relevant information into your article. Now, once this is finished, I'll show you a couple other things in which you guys could do. Okay, so we're finished now. What I can do is I can tell it to create a table. So as you can see, it's created a table based on that information. Da da da. I can actually click on that table. I can see the code and I can copy that over to my website. So pretty cool. Let's expand this. So we get a nice table here. Um, and we can probably even use code interpreter. Can you visualize this data? So as you can see, it actually went ahead and created a interactive chart here. If I So once I open this, I can see the emerging AI stocks of 2024. I can see recent growth highlights, top keywords in market potential. So really cool how quick it is for you to first do your research, find data, and then you can visualize that data in a really cool way within your article. You could also use Dolly write integrated into ChatGPT. So I can tell it to create custom and relevant blog post images for this article. And as you can see here, it will create an image for you and you can create a blog post cover image. If you wanna turn this into a LinkedIn post, you can do it all within one place. I you could also generate multiple images if you like. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and write the full article now just to see what type of output we're going to get back here. So I'm gonna paste this in here. This is my prompt. I'm not gonna tell it to write each section individually because that just takes way too long. So I'm gonna tell it to write the full article and then we'll kind of test to see what the output quality looks like. So this is the full article in which we get back. It is fairly in-depth and it has included that information which researched the top AI stocks that are emerging and some of the best stocks um, generally when it comes to AI. So in terms of word count, it is 1300 words, which isn't bad by any means. I probably would like something longer, but you can always tell the AI to expand the article. So that is how you can write an in-depth article. You can then expand again with FAQs. You can tell to write a new section. If you want to also turn this post into a separate piece of content, I can tell it to use this post to create a unique 
LinkedIn posts and write in whatever style or catered for whatever audience I'm looking for. I can tell it to write tweets. I can tell it to create an Instagram image, which I can then use that image to upload onto Instagram. So search GPT just integrates with ChatGPT to give you more live and updated information. So now you have the ability to connect to Google and get access to live information while also using all of these um, native apps and native features that are included in ChatGPT. So it's very, very cool. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. And of course, you can find my prompts in the description below today's video. Take care.